people of the universe, I think we've all come to the conclusion by listening to these three idiots mumble on for about 20 minutes <clears throat> that a calendar, without a doubt, unquestionably is indeed a map. And if you think otherwise, don't, don't, talk. Opinion, don't, don't try to radicalize. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. If you're trying to radicalize, you can it against us. <laughs> Welcome to All Topics No Pizza, where we start with a single idea, then add new topics until we stop mid-sentence because we forgot what we talked about or because we died. I am Matt, also known as Ruminous. I'm Dion. You seem unsure about that? I'm not sure. I'm Dion? Yeah. Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And, uh, and, and Matt's sick. Matt's sick in case anybody didn't. No, I just got a great voice modulator. Who I decided to add some special effects to my voice. Don't. What, Dion? What? Did you just get struck by amnesia? Yeah. What's happening? Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I guess Dion. we have a secret special guest today then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a bit. This is good. this is a fun bit. Let's keep doing this bit. Let's keep doing this amnesia <laughs> uh, bit, Dion. Just finish your um, thing. <laughs> what? Can the this show bit? not start until I say my name? Yeah, exactly. Alright, well the, the then the I'm holding start without- my name. I liked the bit. I liked it when we started with the bit, and then we left Nick in the dust. <laughs> oh man! No. Anyway, Dion, what was your thing about? So, is a map? No, fuck. Is a calendar? Uh, and I'm Nick. Da 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 da. I will delete right, my now, entire word. Now, is a calendar? <laughs> is is a calendar a map? And by that extension, is a map a calendar? No, is a calendar not, a map? No, um, it's not. It's not reverse. That's so, how the transitive property works. No. Did you pay attention to mass math school? Transitive property is a plus b equals c, isn't it? And then for us, c equals b plus c, a but, b plus a. But that's basically means, saying if you rearrange it, it's still the same thing. But but that means that c is not the same as b or a. It's it's. A and B together. It, you, make this C. is not about bad math philosophy. <laughs> this is about Nick not understanding that the verb to be is a linking verb, and the saying a calendar is a map is the same thing as saying a map is a no, calendar. It's not. Because if one is one thing, the same is true for the That's flip side. Because true. it is. No, 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 no. That is true. No, pants- it's not because because squ- because squares and rectangles. What are you talking about? Yeah, all rectangles are, what? Are, are all squares are rectangles, but recta- not all rectangles but not, are squares. Yes. No, a That's, square is specifically a four-sided object where all sides are the exact same sh- uh, length. A rectangle is a shape of four sides of any length. A square is a more true. defined form of a rectangle. That is not what it is. A rectangle Did has two parallel amnesia? sides with two op- each each adjacent side is equivalent to the other one, where a square has four equivalent sides and is uh, parallel to each other. All and right. right angles. Okay. So but my point see, still stands. The, it does not stand because you said, well, every square has a rectangle. And, uh, well, except that you forgot the second part where you added in a butt. That contradicts it. If I say a man is blue, the same it's the same thing as saying a blue is the man. He is blue. No. Doesn't matter. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. This is how linking verbs work. Yes. If I, wait, if I just said that chair is red, I'm not saying the same as that red is chair. 
You are saying exactly the same thing. No, I'm not. You're not. I yes, am you using are. adjectives That's not how to the define the property works. And what is an adjective? An it adjective is a descriptor. Something. But yes. red is and not a descriptor. But red is a descriptor of the chair. But chair is not a descriptor of red itself. But you said that red, that shade of red, is part of the chair. But it's not that the is what chair. It, does. it describes. But it's not the chair. I'm missing the. Then how I, is I the chair when we red? The bit. I'm how, confused. How can possibly? How can possibly the chair be red then? Because the chair is not red. The chair is made out of wood. No, no, no. The chair. I'm not getting has derailed red. this early. <laughs> What's going on? He's doing a bit. You're being the. Yeah, yeah you're, you're being, being a colonizer. A, a, a prescriptivist because he's a colonizer. What? You're being a colonizer. You this fucking works white when, supremacist. Yeah, no, I'm being an asshole. Is what I'm doing. Yeah, you're being a little. I'm well aware. I am well aware that yes, grammatically. Yeah. Grammatically it's speaking, yes, there, it's a linking verb. It's the same thing, but that's not true. It's saying red is the chair. No one says that in English. You may say that in other languages, but in English that doesn't work because semantically that's not what we do. It's like saying he goes. People yeah. don't say that. He says you say does he go? To answer because your in question, English we just don't do that. To answer your question, Dion, yes. Ooh, a calendar okay. is a map of time. Oh, okay, okay. A calendar yeah. is a is a is the closest we could get to cartographing literal time. So, fun fact, because I've asked this for a lot of people, and people get really specific about what a map is defined by, like, specifically, even though in English, what does it matter what a word is defined by? It's just what we mean, right? Anyway, um... A word is defined by what we make it. Yeah, exactly. What is a rock? Um, is a rock a... Is oh, it a God, big, we're big, getting into my favorite beer? argument of philosophy. What is, is... No, my worst part, because I hate Plato. What no, is... I, yeah, what is... It's my yeah. favorite. That's my favorite, yeah. What is red? Is it a chair? <laughs> um... <laughs> so then you agree with Someone it. read the forms in high school. Um, yeah, and never <laughs> read anything else. Yeah, unfortunately, I gotta hate the ancient Greek philosophers. They were so annoying. Well, that's... So that's the problem with philosophy. Sorry, Dion, we're derailing again. I'm not, we'll get back to I'm, it. Oh, we will. We'll get back to it because, you know, we're going to be mapping this conversation. Same thing. Uh, support us on Patreon if you want to see the spider maps. They're really interesting. Um, no. <laughs> the spider maps are available to everybody. Oh, they're, they are available YouTube. to everybody? Yeah. yeah. S- support us anyway. Go to, go to Patreon. Yeah. Sh- shell please. out money, please. La- ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to leave nowadays. my job. Please, please help. The problem with philosophy is that it's so subjective it's so personalized it's so that person's i mean it's to put it in the most simple perspective to put it into the gif meme perspective that's just like your opinion man is the description of all philosophy Okay. Because none of it actually really answers anything it allows us to sort of you're being reductive I'm not being reductive hold on this is the problem philosophy is a good school for training broad-minded thought but philosophers create a specificity that i believe is in and of itself reductive if you get stuck on a particular philosopher yeah with them but that's why with you the contemporary you get to be like I'm going to pull ideas from here, here, and here and create new innovative thoughts. I'm going to pull... I'm you going to you pull never stop from Wittgenstein thinking. who's like, hey, all of language fucks us. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't... You don't philosophy isn't... No, I, I disagree. You don't stop thinking. No, because no, someone 100 years I ago think, stopped thinking. I think they get stuck on a style of thought. Although those are poor, I, weak thinkers. Anyone who gets yeah, stuck philo- yeah. in anyone who gets stuck on a on a specific style of thinking, or I mean, it's fine to have your morals or your values and your ideals, but anyone that stops reevaluating has failed to life. be. Yeah, first of all, you're that's not gonna, you're not going to have a good time in life. You're going to get into a lot of dumb arguments, and second of all, that's bad philosophy. If you stop having well, discussions that can change your own opinions. You're not a very good philosopher. Um, I, th- I think what Nick, Nick is saying is that philosophy at its core value is nice because it gets you to think, gets you to be open-minded, gets you to do certain things. But it also leads into the fact that people try to like categorize life and try to quantify it and try to yeah. like 
Like, well, Plato's forms is a great example of, he talks about, like, I think it's a chair, and like, what makes a chair? Well, if it doesn't have four legs, is a stool a chair? And I'm like, motherfucker, you know what a chair is. Asshole. And it's going to depend on the person the person. A chair is, it, for some people, a rock is a chair, because you can sit on it. For most people, that's not true. Because it's rough, it, it bumpy, it hurts. I, I, it's, when people will try to base it off their whole lives, off of, again, like Dion was saying, when it's reductionism and you just kind of base it off of this entire just stupid yeah one school of thought or these rules that these ancient philosophers had you're not actually thinking you're just copy and pasting and not really trying to think about what they were thinking i guess i I guess my point is if you don't if a person isn't instilled with that sense of philosophy with the idea that the point is not to have an answer for everything the point is to question everything and seek the answer. It's a lot of times it's not even everything. Things. It's just a very specific thing. No, or no, no. A very general, I, I was broad talking thing. about philosophy in general. The, the general gist okay. of philosophy is have a question for everything. Like, that's the whole point of it, is the study of everything. Um, and, and if you don't instill that part, if you instill the idea that it's an answer to everything, I think that's the problem that I see a lot, is that a lot of people see it that way a lot of people are going to philosophy because they want to they want an answer for everything when in reality they're not going to get it in philosophy they're just going to get really frustrated i don't know where to go because i'm just going to pull it back to what i want to I, w- I want more specifics because there's the thing right i've gotten a lot of different answers about this because people get really <laughs> really specific about how they feel uh, because your... they're just like no i, I mean and people, the, and the people that are like no so the people that are like yes are just kind of generally a little bit more open-minded because it's like oh it's like a time map i get it i get where you're saying it coming from of course it is no no and no. then and then the people that are like no are like okay calm hold your horses no you can't just say because it's <laughs> charted it's a map it's a plan or a map like and they get really like the, not defensive but they're just like mm, so, i won't yeah, allow they do the forms it. they do they do the yeah, goddamn play yeah forms. So, the, so, the, so, so people have been like they've said like no, it's not a map because a map, and if you want to get really, you know, into like, um, the, the, uh, semantics of it, a map is technically defined in English as something that, um, uh, represents or, 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 or shows you a specific area of geology, right? Um, but, Geography. so when they brought that up, I was like, all right, fine, we'll pull up the, 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 um, map definition. And I was no. like, aha, no. listen to this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I was, I was, I was not going to be out semantic. <laughs> I was like, all right, yeah. fine, we'll, we'll do this. So, so the first definition is a diagrammatic representation of an area of land, sea, showing physical features, cities, roads, etc. Um, and then the second bullet point says uh, a two-dimensional representation of the position of stars or other astronomical objects. And the third bullet point is a diagram or collection of data showing the spatial arrangement or distribution of something over an area. And I was like. Come on. Well, well, guess how we measure time, guys. Guess how we measure yeah. time. The position of the stars. And, Specifically, and, and, and then, one, and then what did we do with that? One massive star. We created a calendar. And I was like, come on. The first the first calendar was a map of the stars. Like, literally just well, my, literally a map. Yeah. I, I immediately said yes, yeah. because a... So, a map, a traditional map that, has, that goes over geography... Has a legend. It has distance. It has ratio. It, like you can't make a one-to-one map because that's just the Earth. That's impossible. And so that's what a calendar is. A calendar gives you a legend. Sometimes you have birthdays. Sometimes you have certain things. Sometimes you got to write things down. Sometimes you shorten it. Sometimes you have days of the week instead of a regular. Like they're all. It's a map. It's how and, it works. And, it's and if you get it. That if you're gonna debate semantics with me, first of all, well, according to the definition, that's cool, fam. Totally lit. That's epic, y'all. These words change. They you know, change based on how we use them. I don't think using lit and fam is going to debate <laughs> the semantics well, so. changing. Well, I, I, but that is exactly my point. And the then someone's going to be like, well, I don't like him that way. I don't like people using that word. And I'm like, I don't care. Well, a majority of the people used it that way. So now it's defined that way. If you look in the dictionary, they change because of the way that people use them. So suck a balloon. Well, I argued I that know. in part of the definition, it supported that a calendar could be a map because the last part is... Um, a diagram or collection of data showing spatial arrangement or distribution of something over an area. And this is, it shows the distribution of days over a week, over a month, over a year, right? It's it's something over an area. I was also going to say, 
it, 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 time it does is an area, track right? it does track your position in time like you as a 3d object exist within the boundaries of time therefore technically a calendar or a planner is mapping your progression through the dimension of time no actually so this reminds me of a book here i need to look this up weirdly enough this reminds me of a book that's always stuck with me since i read it in like middle school um it's called frindle by uh andrew clements it is about a it's a children's novel about a boy who basically is a class clown that his teacher doesn't like uh, her uh, English teacher, no nonsense, named Miss Granger. One day, in an attempt to forestall, Nick decides to question Granger on where each word in the dictionary come from. This backfires as Miss Granger signs him an essay about it. From experience, how Nick does this learns, backfire? He just doesn't do it. <laughs> Nick learns that the individuals get to determine what words mean, and when he comes across a gold-colored pen in the street, he decides to give the pen a name, Frindle. And so basically the premise of this oh, book this is familiar. he goes on to start a revolution against his teacher in which he literally gets Frindle put into... I'm, is this a the, book the, or is this a story? Yeah, this is a book. This is a book. I've, I, this happening? sounds extremely familiar. Have I read this stupid uh, book? It is a... Is it spelled F-R-N-D-L? Like not even a F-R-I-N-D-L. proper word? F-R-I-N-D-L. Here, I'll show F-R-I- I'll it. No, so it is D-L, not an E at the end, right? D-N- uh, D-L-E. There it is, is an e. I, I, I swear. Yeah. So I remember reading this book. It's like 105 pages. Um, it's not gold. He shared I, a picture yeah, with it I, on the cover. I, I, it's I just a regular pen. I've super read this book. 100% read this book. Um, And that book has stuck with me since Stupid the day book. I read it. Where I literally have always been like, but, but that's just like a word, man. Mm. Like, you're just <laughs> saying that. And that's that's my... F- it's It's the stupidest argument you can have like just someone saying something you misunderstanding and then the argument comes down to but you said a thing and and my understanding of that thing is not the same as your understanding of that thing uh and this is this is why i love and hate language (laughs) our language sucks (laughs) and so what are words it's how we feel about the sounds that we make it's just a feeling (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and we have to agree upon the sounds we make. No, you don't. That's the problem. You 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 can. Well, the more and you the should, more we communicate, the more we, we try. Yeah, the more we can try. Yeah, but a lot of people, and this is the cause of the wars, disagree about the sounds <laughs> that we make and what they mean. And this is the cause of all the wars. You see. I'm not. So why are with, you booing me? I'm no. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not but saying no, go, you're go, wrong. Go, go, going on with shitty philosophy i remember reading a tweet from somebody that was like you know bees they have this dance and they do this weird sound that says oh my god there's a bear nearby why can't no bears do that why can't we why there are bear that are beer the bees nearby <laughs> jesus christ i stumbled through that so badly <laughs> you have to just, let's try that again yeah, whole thing bears will make a sound that there are beer, bees nearby fuck <laughs> <laughs> i will keep it in and then someone and then that person's like why can't we have something like that and then someone right beneath them was like we do it's, it's called there are beers be- <laughs> all right this is gonna cut out there are bees nearby <laughs> jesus <laughs> so that's shitty philosophy god fuck god i found the intro <laughs> That was uh, what happened what happened with my mouth my mouth and my brain were just on different levels Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I, I just I just typed in bee tongue twister and that's the only one I found that was about bees. Um, the rest of these things are just like worksheets that you'd give to kids. <laughs> and it's just so who gives a tongue twister worksheet to a kid? Well, n- t- who says hey kids. you can't really speak or you don't know anything? Fuck it up. I'd, fuck I'd imagine shit, son. bullies that become teachers. Well, not, it's not all t- it's not all about tongue twisters. That was just the one. There's like like. Clearly, like resources for teachers are like, like the the Google is really struggling here. Tell me about the worst teachers you've ever had. Oh, easily, I have a story for this immediately. So when I was All in right. the fourth grade, I had this redheaded Irish teacher uh, who was teaching. I think it was. What's that English, supposed to mean? Um, and she shouldn't have been a teacher. I'm not really redheaded or Irish. So <laughs> yeah, th- so there's a thing. I forget what her name was. Um, but she was a complete and total moron and didn't we'll deserve just call to be her teaching. Miss 
And so one day we're in class and I'm a model student. Like I've never had attention. I've never been late. I am I'm great. I am golden. Multiple. I am Dion. I am perfect. Dun, 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 Dion's multiple. basically the Urkel of his class. Sure. Whatever. You know, <laughs> was it I perfect who attendance, that? you know, good grades, blah, blah, blah. And, um, so one day I'm like, we're doing an assignment and I'm like, I messed it up. So I take the paper that I'm writing on and I, and it's quiet. It's like an assignment. You know, you're doing something. Um, and I didn't want to ball it up and create all that noise. So what did I do? I folded it very neatly into like a triangle. And she's like, what are you doing? Stop that. If I ever see you folding paper in my class again, I'm giving you a detention. And I was just Obviously, so... Obviously, you were not like me, were you? Like, no, because I, I was not. I was not. I was, I, was, I, was good, I was a, quote, good kid. And I was just like, oh, okay. And um, so I just left it there on my desk because I couldn't get up to throw it away because she was an asshole. And she <laughs> saw it again, I guess, like 10 or 20 minutes later and was like, what is that? What did I just tell you? That's a detention. And so I had to go home and explain that to my mother at like nine, like why I got detention. And I'm sure that your mother was very upset and she, and if, at and if, the teacher. And if, yeah, oh, yeah. And of course she didn't understand because that story doesn't make sense. So she thought I was no. lying. <laughs> of course. So um, you got a detention for folding paper? Okay. Really? What did you that was the best excuse you could come up with? <laughs> right? That was, that was it? So You had all day to think of an excuse and a lie. That was what you came up with. What about, what about you, Matt? Oh, man. I got a whole list. Oh. Most of middle school is full of just bad teachers. What a... Part of that was because my brother, my brother was an asshole. And because I have his last name and I came in three years later than him, everybody thought I was going to be the same way. So the difference between my brother and I made me... My brother would cause shit just to cause shit. I am retaliatory. So I would sit in class, do nothing. But as soon as something like Dion's happened, where you have an attention for folding paper, I'm literally pulling out my binder, pulling it open, and the whole class staring at her while I'm folding this paper. We're being on every sheet, one by ridiculous. one, folding it. One by one. I'm like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you gonna, <laughs> what are you gonna, come on. Come on. What are you going to do? You're going to fold paper back at me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very much retaliatory. Uh, so one, in sixth grade, I got, I was taught, I was literally in class helping somebody through a worksheet and the teacher for no reason, this is like three weeks into class, says, you sit up front now, you sit up literally right by my desk. And I'm like, I'm helping them with the assignment. Do you sit up right in front of my desk? And that's because again, the school told them I had a reputation and I learned this later. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm right by your desk, fucker. You didn't want this. So now his worksheets are all missing. Things are getting fucked up. I'm constantly like, flicking things at him. And I'm like, well, I, you made a terrible decision. I'm an, I am an asshole and I will retaliate. I remember mine. I, I can't remember her name. But when, when I was in middle school, I think it was eighth, maybe seventh grade. We had just started, I think it was the second semester. And I, it was my new math class. And I was supposed to have this math teacher that everybody said was good at teaching math, but kind of, kind of a stickler for shit. I was like, okay, well, that's fine. I can deal with that. I've had teachers like that before. That's most people. Um, I get there and we have no teacher and no teacher shows up for the first 30 minutes of class. And we're all just kind of like, is this one of those bus rumor scenarios where if the teacher doesn't show up for the <laughs> first 30 minutes, we're free to go home or some shit? And then the door swings open and this f tall, frail, old white lady walks in. And she just moves like a ghost. Like, I'm talking this woman moves like the teacher from invader zim oh Miss, she just uh, hovers around <laughs> yeah she just like slithers up to the front um i'm hyperbolizing a bit but this is how i remember her <laughs> <laughs> um and she just this is like, my story this is how it's going she just quietly puts her books down on on the desk and then goes to the board and writes her name and then looks at us and stands there for a second and just has the most sour fucking face. Miss Bitters, just by the way, is the yeah, name. Miss. I was about to say she's very bitter. I was like, I was Miss Bitters. Um, <laughs> I, God, I wish I remembered her name. But basically, she was our long term substitute. Our teacher, oh. uh, our teacher was pregnant and she was in the last stage of her pregnancy. 
and so she decided to just go out on leave because she was due any day. Um, <clears throat> so we were like, all right, cool. This lady's going to be a bitch. And she absolutely <laughs> was. I'm talking. She probably got woken up like, hey, that uh, teacher we told you about? Yeah, she, <laughs> her water broke early or something. And she's like, I was asleep. And he's like, you need to be in school now. We told you to be ready. And she was just like, I'll be there. I'll uh, be there yeah. when I get there. <laughs> she was the no talking, no do, breathing, like, yeah, no like, looking. If don't, you're not don't even, looking at the don't board even exist. or writing your notes, you we're going to have problems. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm the teacher's pet, kind of. I'm the guy who just didn't... I, really, I'm the guy who tried to just keep his head down, do his work, and never get noticed. But I could do it I well enough. I tried that enough. too, but had a target for me. I could do it well enough. Well, I also had a family reputation, but a good one. You um, bitch. I, I could do it well <laughs> enough that like teachers would be like, oh, you're intelligent. Not this bitch. This bitch <laughs> loathed me. Anytime she needed answers from the board. I was picked. Anytime someone was used as an example of how they did their work wrong, because that's how she showed work. Let me tell you, this no. woman, she did not show you the people who got it right. She showed you the people who got it wrong. That's not. And, and I'm if you read like, any study, it, it, negative reinforcement and I'm just, it does not work. Um, now, mind you, this is math. This is the subject I'm worst at. Like, I can do basic math, but the minute you start involving algebra, I'm a little scared. Letters freak me out, guys. <laughs> Three plus X equals twelve. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I'm just like we, uh, we hand Nick a bowl of alphabet soup for lunch, and he just screams and draws. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you did you know how the I feel? You to me? So uh, many numerals. They're trying to poison me. Um, so you know. I, I managed to avoid the, the direct ire besides what was clearly bullying for like a month and then one day I brought a bag of Fritos from lunch oh you know and decided no. to eat it in class you you criminal you what have you done <laughs> before I could even put my hand in she was on me like a shark she literally like appeared next to me and was like what do you think you're doing I was like, uh i'm munching i i didn't get Crunching. the chance to eat at lunch she's like well that's your fault these are mine now she takes them from me and just goes to her desk and sits them on her desk 10 minutes pass we're doing like a uh, paperwork and i have my head down and i hear the bag and i look over and she is staring daggers at me <laughs> and eating my bag of chips God, and I'm just like I wish I was in this class you are the most vile loathsome hateful creature why why are you a teacher and why am I your victim so uh fourth term our teacher uh came back uh, which, I mean, in retrospect, sucks for that teacher. One of my favorite teachers, because this is my thing, I tried to get to know my teachers that I liked, and one of my favorite teachers was a teacher who gave me detention, but the reason she gave me detention may be the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. I drew a gun on my test, and she handed it back to me, and she's like, what is that? I was like, it's a gun? And she's like, it's a cold 45, man. Violence upon me as your teacher. Ba no, she's basically like, now, I know you probably didn't mean <laughs> this way, but I have to take this as a threat. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was right. You yes. have detention. And I was like, God damn it. And she's like, I'm sorry. Like, that's how it is. And I was like, fine. I, you're lucky I like you as a teacher. That's really funny. I was so it's so obnoxious though it's like well, it's a, it's also obnoxious to us because we we know the students that are joking but anytime we're we're mandated reporters which means if someone like is just joking about suicide I have to report that yeah 
Yeah. It doesn't matter if I know that the kid's joking, if, if I know it, whatever, but I have to report it, it because in out, the event that they yeah. go through with it, I can be held legally responsible if I did not report and it. They, and, yeah, and they find out exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, remember everybody, Matt used to be a teacher. He may not have experienced it all, but he experienced some of it. I experienced enough of it. <laughs> he experienced and, enough so, of it to know he doesn't want to do it anymore. Yeah, well, for that reason, is that you have, I would say, three horrendous teachers like the ones we had that were, for one reason or another, just assholes. You have six teachers that are mediocre. They're nothing really, they're nothing really bad or good. They're just kind of there. But then you have that one really good teacher. And the problem is, if you're really good, if you care, if you do certain things, you get taken advantage of by the administration, by the students, by everything. And, and you, I imagine it's just, you it's get not targeted by your fellow teacher. Absolutely. I was targeted all the time. Uh, so I taught, they made me teach remedial math, which I didn't initially have a problem with. But the problem was, the kids weren't like, they say they were in gangs. They weren't in gangs, they were thugs. Because a gang to me is so, like an organized crime. These guys were just... Vandals. That's just what they were. But a lot of these guys, just they didn't come to class. They didn't care. They would cause a ruckus. People were having sex in class. They were smoking weed in class. And I'm just sitting there trying. I'm doing my best. And no one cared. Until those kids had better test scores than the veteran teachers. He's than the, like the, Yeah. And so... And then all of a sudden, I got a target on me because now I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm like, nope, I'm going to do this anyway. Again, I'm not someone who's going to shy away from confrontation. Because you, if you want me to stop doing what I'm doing to the detriment of my students, you got to get a fucking good reason. And that's why I don't do it anymore. On top of the fact that I got accused of um, sleeping with my students every year. Uh, that was always a fucking problem. I, I didn't I hate I hated everything I I was not a, I was a good teacher did not be in, did not be did not enjoy being a teacher for those that didn't understand that last comment he was accused he did not yes accused every actually as a matter of fact I had like video evidence that it like never happened because there was I was smart enough to leave the door open lights on stand in the middle of the hallway or in my room with a camera lit in and they would still go well you're alone with a female student I was like I'm also alone with male students and more importantly, I tell everybody, and that was the issue, is that I told people, I told the principal, hey, there's a female student coming to my room, room every day after school. Uh, they're a little emotionally troubled. I just want everybody to be aware. To which they said, oh, just lock the door. To the emotionally troubled student, right? That, that's the one. The one that comes to me for guidance and help because her mom is com incredibly controlling and she's lost and doesn't really know what to do with her life. That one. You want me to ignore her and abandon her? Yeah. No. And so I was targeted. And then every, like, every year it was something. I remember I reported a student who was way too like sexually aggressive. Like she would, I'd be over, the de I'd be over at the desk, helping her with math. And then I would, like she would press her chest against me. Like her boobs would be against my arm and I would move my arm away and she would keep moving. And as I talked with women, women, women would say, no, she knows she's doing that. That's course, not like yeah. you forget, you like, like you know, your boobs are against something. You, it's it's and very like, oh. sensitive, right? You know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, so, and so after after I had learned that, I'm like, oh, she's, she's definitely doing this on purpose. And so I reported it. And so what they did is they talked to her and specifically said, hey, a male teacher is complaining that you're being, you know, forward. Guess how many male teachers she had? One. One. <laughs> yes. So now she comes to me and goes, did you do, do this and this? And I'm like, well, I'm kind of in a rock and a hard place because... Now, if I do anything, I don't know if you're going to say anything or accuse me of anything. It's going to be worse. I have no idea what to do at this point. Also, fuck you, administration. How did you handle that so poorly? I, again, did not have fun. God damn, it pissed me off so much. Just let me do my job, man. Don't stay in school. Get your GEDs. Get your GEDs. Yeah. I, I, I legitimately, actually, yes. Get your GEDs. Graduate early. Start life early. It ain't worth it. Or, High school, middle or, school. Or just, spe like, get your GED at 16 and spend the next two years chilling out, if that's what you want to do. And then go to college. Fuck it. Then nah, don't go to college. Or don't go to college. Go to trade school. Or don't go to a trade school. Start a business with your friends. Do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do, but do, do also don't mooch happy. off of people and don't leech off of people. Whatever you Whatever take. you do, just make sure that you're taking steps to... Uh, Disassemble Better yourself. the capitalist hierarchy that exists. <laughs> that, 
Every episode, you said it's, it's worth it. We are an anti-capitalist podcast, apparently. But uh, if you want to support us, please. Uh, what do you support think? Support us on Patreon.com. But we, we uh, live in a capitalist society, AT&T. so we need money. <sighs> yeah, but only because we still live here. And this is what we're doing in the meantime. We're 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 you know we're bucking the system the rest of the time. Yeah, yeah. All that time I spend sleeping. Yeah, I I don't know what Dion's talking about. <laughs> I. I Listen, when you're jobs. in prison, you can't just be like, you're not going to not say you hate prison. Of course you're going to say you hate prison. Just because you're stuck there doesn't mean you have to be like, we got you got to we got to support this place. Yeah, but, the enti- oh. you're, you're, but then the rest of the time, you're not carving spoons to chip away at the wall slowly. The rest of the time, you're sleeping or working out in the yard. Yeah, working out so that you're buff for the prison escape. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so Dia is talking to you're everyone. He's going to be the mastermind taking- of any sort of prison escape. <laughs> I'm just saying that we should be more prepared than hey, not prepared hey, for hey, the inevitable. Dion, you know what? This is your next staff project. You've got to get together a uh, a uh, a binder for emergencies in which we end up in jail together. <laughs> Since it seems that you have this all planned out, <laughs> Dion's like, "All right, Matt, you're going to be in the library. <laughs> you're going to be." Checking out chemistry books, figuring out a way we might be able to make improvised explosives. Nick, get in the kitchen. That's it. Oh, That's just because he's do. fat, huh? That's all you do. <laughs> you you actually don't do anything. You just you actually just live your life. You just you just continue on. We'll come get, get you. Get involved with gangs. Talk to the white supremacists. See what they have to say. Uh, like, Dion, I don't know where this is going. Dion, I don't think the white supremacists are going to help you. I'm, I don't want to point out why. <laughs> Why do we have I, I feel white like in that situation, it's okay us? to point out why. And I don't think I can go get involved with the Black Panthers. And I don't think I want to point out why. I again, I think I think it's okay to say that. that you know what? Whatever. It's all right. <laughs> uh, Dion, meanwhile, is getting jacked in the fucking courtyard. <laughs> uh, apparently, none of us care about any of the other ones because apparently we forgot Matt's birthday. Um, and then these fuckers forgot my birthday, so that's great. I love. Mm, no, I didn't forget. I just didn't care. Exactly. I for, <laughs> uh, I didn't I didn't forget. I didn't know. You did know <laughs> because we talked about it before I left. No. Uh, what do you I, would I don't remember. I would your memory. It. <laughs> I would remembered it. If I don't remember, it didn't happen. Ah, uh, just like my dad. I have an ironclad memory. Uh. I did forget. I remembered at some point. I was like, I should text Dion half birthday. I think that was a day or two before. And instead of setting an alarm, mm-hmm. which I should always do, I because did. every time this happens, I should call my grandfather on his birthday. And then I forget. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's like a week later. I'm like, well, I'm now at that period where it's kind of late. I think we've learned uh, from experience, Matt, that you should never call any of your family on their birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, only, the only biological family I keep in touch with are my dad's parents. Loosely, very loosely, and that's because they're not assholes, and they agree with that my dad is a piece of shit, and that's pretty much it. Well, but Dion, how was your birthday? It was great. It was perfect. That was it. Yeah, so you got surrounded you by people special? that no. Well, I mean, I was in Chicago um, visiting a friend, um, and uh, she. Um, no, I mean they. Uh, they made dinner for me. They made my favorite cake, which is cheesecake. Um, it was great. Everything was absolutely oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Love a good cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Cheesecake, man. I can't eat it anymore, but man, I love it. <sighs> absolutely perfect day. I do love a good cheesecake. Do you know what Who I love it? more than cheesecake? Leaves. No, no. Why did you, you were thinking about it? It took I, a long time I, to think about it. I was concerned. <laughs> I love the fact that nobody's found Brian Laundry, the guy who killed that girl that died. That kid did he, is dead. Did he, go, did he also go missing, or is he on the run? No, so 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 both. Um, they don't know where he is, and the reason they don't know where he is oh, yeah. is because the mob killed him. Um, because he killed a young Italian girl from Long Island. Okay, that boy is at the bottom of a well. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. She, do you think so? 
Oh yeah, I straight up. It's 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 um it's a crack theory that was spread around really early on when he went missing for the first time. Like as soon as we told him to go on a, a hike to clear his mind, and then he didn't show up. We don't know what happened to him. So he's on the run, uh, OJ style, or he just was supposed to be on the run because they knew the mob was coming for his ass and didn't get far enough because they he's completely <laughs> disappeared. Um, and yeah, I, I think he's he, he's if he's not dead, he is going to be <laughs> relatively shortly. Sad. Or he's not having a good time if he wants to be dead. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, he um, he should turn himself in. Brian Laundry. I, I know you're not... definitely not going to be one of the first people to ever listen to this <laughs> podcast, but on the one in one billion chance that you are, just turn yourself in, dude. Just, just, just end it. Like, you fucked up. We get it. And by we get it, we mean we don't get why. And we're willing to not give you the death penalty. But that's only because we don't believe in the death penalty. You don't believe the death penalty. I just... I I don't know how I feel in the death penalty. I feel like, on the one hand, sure, it gets rid of a bad thing. On the other hand, it's just killing... On the third hand, why give them the satisfaction of getting to? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't getting the rest. I don't think I believe in the death penalty. Um, I don't know if I ever did or didn't. Um, I think we debated this a couple times. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever believed in the death penalty. It's kind of pointless, and it's kind of cheap. <laughs> That's um, what I'm saying. And it's kind so of torture. Mean, and it's also it's also kind of torture porn. Because there, we've never found a humane way to murder a person. Um, oh yeah. But how is it? But also, how is it not torture to keep someone alive for thirty so, yeah, years? Well, that's what I mean. Why the, not the keep entire, them alive? The entire prison industrial because system. Because now, now I gotta pay for that. You shit. know, the entire prison industrial system is also torture porn. It's also slavery. Um, but yeah, but that's, but that's because the American um, prison industry isn't interested in. Uh, punishment or rehabilitation or like or like fixing criminals. It's just slavery. It, it literally, yeah. It's just locking the key and then you come out twenty years later. So uh, and you can't get a job. So having now. any sort of discussion about what we should do with criminals in this society is kind of pointless because we don't really care um, what happens to them. If we did, we wouldn't let them go to jail. We would send them to therapy. Matt, Matt. Yes. Eight point one percent of prisons in the United States are privately owned. All we have to do, give them to a privately owned prison. They they can live out the rest of their days not on your bill, man. Sh- sure, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so the, the so I'm all for the death penalty because, you know, history's full of some fucked up people. The only thing that would actually that actually I say I'm against it in its current form is because so many cases have been overturned based on DNA evidence. So many cases have been mishandled. So many cases have been shown to have prejudice and lies and a bunch of bullshit to show that they either didn't do it or not as extreme as it was. As it was. I, the, the way I see it is that if you do a crime against humanity, you need to go. And to me, if you do like a murder out of passion, that's not a crime against humanity. That is a crime of passion. That is unfortunate. However, if you plan, meditate, and do terrible, terrible things... And just like, you know, all the tortures, all the murderers and just slaughter and have fun with it. You need to go because there's there's something mentally wrong with you that unfortunately, I don't think any therapist in the world can handle. <laughs> if you're a Republican fan, unfollow, unsubscribe. Uh, I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your money. <laughs> if you're a centrist. Welcome to the club. Uh, see, the, the uh, problem but is, if you're not, if you but if you're an, an apologist, get the fuck out. If you were an actual person that has differing opinions and different ideas and are willing to listen to things, don't care what your affiliation is. And I'm going to be real with you. If you say, I'm a Republican, I'm a Democrat, you're probably not. And I say that because everybody's different. So again, what makes a Democrat a Democrat? I, I have I it, it really depends. I, I hate extremes on both ends. Ding, I hate ding, ding 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 ding. We made it full circle. We yeah. made it back. We made it back. This is not about calendars. I'm confused. We made it back. No, we made it back to the forums. It's close enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's very close to the forums. So my brother and I came up with a system where we have plus five, minus five, 
Uh, plus five is like hardcore Democrat. Everything's a problem. Everything needs to be revolutionized. And then minus five is hardcore conservative. Everything needs to go back to the way it was. We need to go back to living in huts, that kind of thing. And when you hit to like the fours on each of the, on the side, either side, you can't talk to these people. And that's why I said the death panel needs to be there because we just need to call these people. We just Jesus eugenics. Christ. That's what I'm going for. Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. Matt took a hard left. The hardest so I went left. full yeah. crazy. But now, when you're dealing with people that are on the fours, those are the people that literally they read what they want to read, they listen to the news that they want to listen to, and they refuse to to understand or accept that there may be something different, that that they may be wrong. When you when you have the threes, they're hardcore, but they they'll listen eventually. But I would say most people are in the one to three range. You have some strong ideas. But most people are willing to listen. The problem is, the internet is full of idiots, and it attracts echo chambers and idiots. And that's what you all see. I have talked to people who are hardcore Trump supporters, I've talked to people who are bleeding hard liberals, and if you actually talk to them, and engage with them, and listen to them, you can often talk with them, and get them to see other sides, and get them to see, be more open to things. The problem is nobody talks to each other anymore. You just shout millennial or boomer and then move on with your life. Okay, and it's a problem. Calm down. Tell me I actually have to. Have a, <sighs> tell me I actually have to have a level ahead and listen to people, and and just only if they are willing to the same that share same respect to you. Yeah, that's the difference. Is that I don't like turn the other cheek. Sure, but if someone is completely being obstinate, if someone's a five, and and they're just not listening, fucking move on. Don't deal with that shit. You ain't gonna do anything. They they are stuck. They are just obstinate. And also, don't argue with them if they're drunk. <laughs> just don't argue. Hold on. No, don't argue with drunk people. Just don't do that. <laughs> drunk people will start a fight over anything. Right, Dion? Uh, I don't understand why that was targeted at me, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're the town drunk. <laughs> the town violent drunk. Please don't be a violent. I'm, no, I'm the sleepy drunk no, that he, falls into fire. Yeah. What is going on? That's true. Yeah. You do fall asleep standing yeah. up. <laughs> no, when when Dio get, gets drunk, when Dio gets drunk, he's very tired. He just likes he, he he basically just doesn't exist for a little bit. For a he little blacks bit. out and then continues Which, to talk. I don't black out anymore. He blacks out and continues to talk. And but and then but I gotta talks, carry him because he's about to fall into a fire. But talks in gibberish. <laughs> He literally the fire. talks in Simlish. Like, if, if yeah. I had to describe it, he talks like, Wow, that's just. That's not And that fair. is how I knew that we needed to leave Nick's house. Because. I'm like, alright, Nick, we gotta go. Because Dion. All right, Dion, Dion's at that stage. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna be honest, Dion. My brain is just like. Dion puts on his best mush mouth impression. Mush mouth? <laughs> mush mouth from Fat Albert. I never watched Fat Albert, to be honest with you. Never. Oh my god. All right, people. Here's the thing. Fat Albert. There it is. One of my favorite shows. As a child growing up. Never watched. Because I had it. like three VHSs of Fat Albert, and I watched them on repeat. Yeah, VHSs. Gen Zers, look them up. Um. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Remember, I was talking before about not being an asshole. <laughs> um. But uh, since you know, Mr. Cros Cosby did you know. The horrible things that he did I'm real twisted up about fat albert because it's deeply entwined with bill cosby uh, that makes me very sad because i'm just like bill cosby bill cosby was the face of like the good america uh, he was a very kind compassionate <laughs> he was he was a uh, doctor i think it wasn't just dr cosby or whatever uh, his on a wife show was a doctor i believe what his wife was a doctor they were both what did any of it I think they were. Mm -hmm. I'm looking it up. And all their kids went to college. Yeah, but in his in in the show, like he had ther he had uh, therapists and he had uh, social not socialists people who studied social um, ideas. I forget what it's called. Uh, sociology. There we go. And he and he had all this on there, and then he still was a piece of shit. Oh yeah, he which was goes to show that people are complicated, and no one no one is ever just a pure good or pure evil person. Yeah, you're kind of a mishmash of good and bad. And that's what why idea. I don't believe in the death penalty. Oh my goodness. So you don't believe in the death penalty? Yeah, I was really hoping for a better reaction to that. The fact that I just switched you completely, to the Completely, yeah, completely just switched. <laughs> We're fucked. <laughs> I'm kind of 
kind of fine with it. I feel like we've had our run. Let the reptiles get their chance. Because despite what other people believe, no, they are not reptilians. They're the next generation, people. Once we go extinct, the reptiles will get their chance. Calm down. Again? We already no, had the dinosaurs. No, 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 no. We had to let the dinosaurs happen for a while. We were still in the growing process. Now, if we end our li- if we end <laughs> ourselves soon enough, global warming will have its effects, and it will probably benefit either the bugs or the reptiles or the fish. Could be a fish ruled planet. I'm I'm down for deep sea life. I welcome our I undersea overlords. Fuck that shit. I welcome Cthulhu. We, yeah, I'm not. I think we talked about this before. I hate deep sea life. I want nothing to do with this shit. <laughs> shit is scary as hell. These things are creepy. They're invisible. They have like a chemogenesis. They could make food out of just random, random chemicals. It's not good. It's not okay. I don't like it. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is if there's a species that is more well designed for deep space travel, it's deep sea life. The ones that are in high pressure. Yes. Going to zero pressure? Yes. I don't think you understand the difference and the problems that are involved in this. They would like no, no, no. We train astronauts underwater. Mm. No. It doesn't yes, work that do. way. Yes, we do. No, no, no. I mean, like, they, they wouldn't work that way in reverse. It would. You can't train astronaut fish. You can. You've seen how good cephalopods are at working bullshit. What I say about mentioning creepy deep sea life, I don't like it. Mm, you know squids would be able to work a fucking... Oh god, they're disgusting. Squid, but okay, they can okay, open okay, okay. doors! But squids aren't deep sea creatures. Yes, that's the problem. But there are what deep sea squids. squids. Yeah, they're the colossal squids. Exactly. I don't like them. Get, get that fucking shit out of here. We'll launch a colossal squid rocket into space. Did you not see? Uh... That sounded oddly sexual for no reason. What's that movie called? Suicide Squad Two. Yeah, but yeah. that was a starfish. Don't don't. Yeah, you don't want to mess with space sea life, and you no, don't want to. No, 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 you don't no, want to no. create. Is, you don't want to create space sea life either. No, no, no. That's sea life from space. Yeah, this is going to be our. Sea yeah, but life once you throw sea life into space, into space, anything that it creates is then sea life from space. Oh, and that's it bad. gets all the space juices in it, doesn't oh, it? Yeah, it's not good. Space juices turn it into a space squid, and suddenly the space squid's like. Hi, mate. How you doing? I'm a space squid. From spies. What happened? What? <laughs> What's happening? That's a very niche joke that only some people will understand. Of course, none of us understand yes, it. Only Nick is. That's the point. Think, like, what I would know that from, I don't think I would. I'll, I'll link it in the, the chat. The closest thing I can think of is Wheatley from Portal 2. No, that's space. Yeah. Space. 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 <laughs> I just want to. We know about, more about the surface of the moon than we do about our oceans, and that's for a reason. The ocean is scary, y'all. Uh, I believe I, the reason is because we, up until now, ocean is scary, haven't y'all. had tools to go that deep. That and it's scary AF. Come on, they don't want to go that deep. No, nah, we do exactly. It's, if we were determined, if we were no, determined, no, 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 yeah. we can we go sent, down there. We, we, we could figure it we out. We sent real men on purpose into a fathomless void. Of unknown. When the ocean was right there, just as seemingly fathomless, you know, from perception's sake, and just as unknown. And we were like, nah, priority number uno, getting out of here, away from the <laughs> sea. Yeah. Like, I can go to the ocean anytime I want. But you can't, it takes you, some serious you can't effort to get to the, to the ocean. ocean. No, but what did they, so this, they prioritize space over the ocean. That's what we're saying. They, they, they chose space for a reason. But, but we could survive a thermonuclear holocaust at the bottom of the ocean. No, we couldn't. Yes, We'd be dead. No, we could. How? Because the ocean would protect us. <sighs> He's right. Not the pressure. Not the damn anglerfish. <laughs> not the giant squid. No, but... You're missing a lot of key components that I need to we breathe. We wouldn't have died from radiation poisoning and also heat. or bombs. No, the radiation would not uh, penetrate, what is it, six miles down or whatever? I'm talking Mariana's Wait, uh, trench depth. See, that's terrifying. Deepest known chasm in the world. Now, consider this. Mars. Yeah, but Mars is like, what is it, two-year travel or whatever? Exactly. You got two years. Two years of relaxing, playing with your buddies, being in zero gravity. 
having your bones kind of dismantled and your blood kind of, of time we'll, 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 we'll deal with that passing because you're kept in cryostasis to keep your bones from stretching that's 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 not what happens but okay that's how it will work when we create it it'll be a function of the stasis pod to keep our body from suffering the maladies that come from zero gravity the aliens at the bottom of the ocean like uh in fact the aliens were a part of the comet that created the moon I, honestly anything any spacefaring creature that would have come well, to Earth, at that point they're not aliens they are native they've been here forever <laughs> any 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 spacefaring creatures that would have come to earth at some point in the ancient past wouldn't have had the ability to, to also yeah so they would have landed in water not knowing what was going on and sunk to the bottom and a spacefaring like 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 the joke from futurama um a spaceship is meant for space so it can handle anywhere from zero, zero to, to one, one pressure one. Yeah. <laughs> so not good exactly unless they come from an extremely densely uh but, gravity no, but, if you're fi- but, but if you're traveling in space but then they your wouldn't, ship is designed they for wouldn't space do well here that's why they gotta be at the bottom of the pl- of the ocean matt i hate you <laughs> i hate all of this the ocean was a mistake we need to this we podcast need to block it off. was a mistake <laughs> everything's a mistake i want nothing to do more with earth earth is over it's old news. We've been here for hundreds Stop of thousands of years. It's cool, whatever. Earth happen. It's never going <laughs> to happen. I don't have a question today, children. What the fuck? I'm sorry. No! I think of one. You I have to ask a question. question. Mm, no. When, Dion, do you have a question? When does the narwhal question? bacon? Oh, wow. What a, what a, a ancient joke. reference. Question. If you wanted to just, you know, just date the shit out of yourself right there. I did. I did it. <laughs> When does oh, it bacon? Matt, when does it bacon? Yesterday. Mm, are you no. joking or you just don't want to, you just don't care? I, I actually don't know what's happening. Oh, you know, okay. Oh, you know, that makes this sense. No, because he doesn't me. care about social media at all. He wouldn't have been on Reddit. <laughs> he wouldn't no. have been on Reddit at the time that that was a thing. When does the no. narwhal bacon? So um, early on in Reddit, it's Reddit, right? Yeah, it's Reddit. Um, I think people, it was earlier than that. Earlier than Reddit? I thought it was a calling card for people that were on Reddit that did want to ask themselves in public for being nerds. Um, and you would answer at midnight, and then you would know, this guy Reddit, and you could be nerds together. What the fuck? This is... Oh, yeah. yeah. Secret Reddit, society Reddit, bullshit. Yeah, this yeah, is some it weird was, cult nonsense. It was, it was oh, yeah. some weird Reddit secret society is, BS. Reddit is a cult. I, I hate to tell you, Reddit <laughs> is a cult. Anybody who uses Reddit, you're not the same as, like, a single contiguous cult. You're, like... A small plague of cults waiting to happen. That's the problem with Reddit. I I despise Reddit. I use Reddit, but very seldom because it is a cult. It's very dangerous. It's uh, it's it's a. And thing. don't even get me started on four chan or eight chan or two chan. I don't know anything about two chan. I just know that. But it yeah, it, it bacon's at midnight. Man. Two chains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's my question. Dion got it right. Matt, you got it wrong. Any that's points? a point for Dion. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Uh, so no. far, we were tied. No. Uh, oh, wait, no, Matt. You know what? Dion missed last week, so you guys are tied. Nah. No. Because uh, you got this week's wrong, so. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I got some narwhal bacon. I cooked it yesterday. <laughs> All right, well, no. if you're having... Wait, don't harm no, narwhals. Yeah, you don't cook the narwhals, man. Come on, bro. They, they're just swimming in the ocean, causing a commotion, because they are so awesome. Well, guess what? They're the Jedi of the, the ocean, ocean, Matt. Fuck the ocean. Have you not been listening to anything that I've been saying for the past half hour? I hate the ocean, and I, I will murder it. I statistically haven't. Who was it? Caligula? Caligula who whipped the ocean for no reason? Xerxes? Xerxes did that. <laughs> Xerxes whipped the ocean? Like, yeah, because there was a storm and it, it fucked up his plan like, and it crashed a lot of his ships. How dare you cut me off? I whip you. Yeah. I whip you to make you in your place. I think that's it for today, boys. Oh, we're not doing a question. I Please told maybe. you I don't have one. Would y'all like to do a question? You have one? Do you have a question? I, oh, what the fuck is this? Get this shit out of here. <laughs> How do I delete someone else's comment? <laughs> yeah, I just sent Matt a deep sea story. It's beautiful. God, get this fucking thing out of here. God, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Matt, you had a question? Yes. If you could clone yourself, would you? No. Oh, hell no. no. I hate no, myself. Absolutely not. Not even because of that. That's because I watched the movie The Prestige. <laughs>
And I, I read, I, in every every in every movie media book manga where there's a clone, like um, like not Two Face. What's his name in uh, My Hero Academia? Twice. I don't know. When you clone yourself, you start to doubt. I don't, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to doubt which one is the original. It's not. It's not a good time. It is not a good time. But but be the change you want to be. Now you have a perfect copy of yourself that you can train to be, and you can work together. No, that's why you, you start to do great things. No, because listen, when the, you can't when, work with yourself. When, when when the clone starts getting tired of your bullshit, and it's so one why why do I have to do all the work? Why? Because because I'm the original. How do you know? I'm the exact same. I said as you. work together, not make them a slave. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't make them a slave, but how do you work together if you don't copy if you don't split the work? But you can't like it's not like you can go to work together. One of you's got to go to work. Capitalist nightmare. You trade off. Monday, I go to work. He goes to work on Tuesday. We fl- it, it, It's perfect. It's a perfect thing. Then I'm just going to make seven of myself. See? No. And no, now, no now you have infinite money. And also, most people, whether they're likable or not, are insufferable in enough ways that you don't want more of their <laughs> I, I actually agree. Like, even the best people, like, like, like pick your favorite actor or actress or whatever, ce- celebrity in general. You want two of them? And don't say, yeah, I would love that. They're my favorite. No. Now you got two insufferable celebrities. Well, don't pick an insufferable celebrity. They're all insufferable. I don't. I'd have a great time. I think that I'd have a great time. You, no, that's because you're a pro, you're you're a masochistic productionist. You like love being productive and <laughs> shit. You guys would get off literally on getting more shit done. <laughs> no, in the less I time. think Matt. Matt, I think you'd hate yourself a lot more than you think you do. You, I, al- you I already would. hate myself. I think because I don't get enough done. I think you hate right. yourself more than you actually think you would. I think a, a, a secondary version of you would probably plot your own murder. I'm not going to lie. I, I think, yeah, I think you'd get tired. Well, of course of, I would do that because I would just want to know if I get away I with think, it. I think you'd get tired of telling yourself what to do and getting told to what to do by yourself. Because you already do that. I wouldn't have so to because external, we would just know what to do. Oh, no, okay. you wouldn't. You'd have different, you'd have different uh, reactions. Because fundamentally, a clone does not have the same experiences as you. A clone would have completely different experiences as you starting from the moment it's born even if you could even if it has some of your base personality in it it would have entirely different reactions so i was thinking clone as in like right now another version of me who is also 27 just pops up literally an exact duplicate of me comes up i I, you're you're visioning clone as in i clone myself from like a baby i still don't think you'd be in uh you'd, you'd be aligned with yourself i think your minds would go different ways because this, nah. see, this is the problem with clones: is indecision is the is like is the parting of way or is the is the the parting of the path in humanity. Like for every iteration of you, there is an option you would take instead of the option you did. So the moment you would meet a form of indecision, it's I would say highly likely that one of you would pick one and the other would pick the other. And argue about and it. And as a result... And you would have, argue. <laughs> yeah, you would literally constantly be going separate ways. Like, think about every time you've been torn on something and argued with yourself in your head about it. Now that person's actually yelling at you. No, now we can discuss it civilly and we can come to a reasonable conclusion. Yeah. It wouldn't happen. <laughs> it would happen. It would end up in a gunfight. That would be awesome. Oh, with one gun. That would be awesome. And now you're worried because you realize that there's an opportunity for a gunfight on the table and you're planning. But you've just realized that if you realize that, that means other you might have realized okay, by now, Jack, too. That I realize that you realize So now that we play Where's, where's Waldo with the gun. You realize, you realize bullshit. <laughs> this, this, is series, <laughs> this is why I hate no, clone. This is why I hate clone bullshit. No. I, just, I think I'll do very well. Oh, okay. See, Dion's afraid of, like, uh, like, am I the real me? I wouldn't care because I am me. If I have a clone and I can see him and he acts and does all these things, I am me. Yes, that clone is, we are identical, but you know what? We are different people. But we are you, we are our own you, individuals. You are you until he decides he's you. Right. Are you certain of that? Yes. Because the minute he decides he's you, you don't wake up. I don't know. For some reason, you always have the evil clone in mind instead of the clone just like, you know what? I'm moving out. Fuck this shit. Do. I think that's what you all do. <laughs> Matt's like, I'm I not think fucking we would both human. Be, we would so we would be so busy doing our own shit that we wouldn't have time to murder. You guys would literally not even live together. You communicate once a week. 
You'd just, just be another brother. Yeah, you'd basically just have a twin. Oh god, if Matt had a twin, I'd kill both of them myself. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, if I had a twin, I'd kill me and my myself as well. Just out of principle. Well, this just got dark. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd like having a twin or a clone. Because I I'd already like know that I'm insufferable. And I'm like I'm, I'm imagining I'm trying to imagine interacting with myself externally, which is different. It's very different than doing it internally. It's very different. So I'm trying to imagine it, and it's just, it's not a good time. Oh no, I I know I'd hate myself. Like I don't even have to imagine it. Be the change you want to be. Got to change who you are. No nah, man. And then you can clone yourself, and nah, you have a great I'd time. I also find the change to be un- insufferable as well. Hey man, what the fuck? The changed me is just as bad. I know how to tell well, these things. Life is just hard for you, huh? Yeah, man. It sucks being a me thanks everybody for listening we started with me being pedantic about chairs and ended up with narwhals and we just like you guys have no idea how we got there either we hope you enjoyed it hope to see you next thursday if you want to support us we have a patreon page our rumors for stream on twitch every friday saturday and sunday i will upload to youtube and i've also published two books and you can support us that way as well if you'd like oh my god there's a bear nearby why can't no bears do that why can't we why there are the beer that are beer the bees nearby <laughs> jesus christ i stumbled through that so badly <laughs> you have to just, Let's try that again. Yeah, whole thing. Bears will make a sound that there are beer, bees nearby. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I will keep it in. And then someone, and then that person's like, why can't we have something like that? And then someone right beneath them was like, we do. <laughs> it's it's called, there are beers. Be- <laughs> Alright, this is gonna cut out. There are bees nearby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so that's shitty philosophy. God, fuck. God, I found the intro. <laughs> That was uh, what happened. What happened with my mouth? My mouth and my brain were just on different levels. <laughs>